incredibly short review of the Universal Audio Top Box. I guess one of the questions that people might ask is, should I buy this thing? So it's actually bulkier than I expected, I guess, but it looks kind of pretty, and this is wood. Uh, it kind of looks super attractive. This is the first Universal Audio thing I've ever bought, to be fair, but it's yeah, quite heavy. The main reason that you might want to select this over a Captor X is if, for example, you've got amps that do 8 ohms, like the Mesa Boogie, and if you had a Vox, I think that would be a 16 ohm. If you had a Fender Dual Professional, that would be a 4 ohm. And with the Universal Audio Top Box, you can switch the impedance depending on that amp. So for 4 ohms, that might be a Fender style, 16 ohms, a Vox or Marshall style, and 8 ohms, a Mesa Boogie style, and probably, you know, lots of other examples. That's one of the clearest differences I can see between this and the Torpedo Captor X and I think if you've got amps that are span across those different impedances uh, a good reason to maybe try the Oxbox instead. Aside from that they seem to do uh, a relatively similar job I think you'd probably be happy with either but you know I might play with this a bit more I actually bought it for a friend but does that job.